Hey everyone, welcome to the Knit and Crochet Spot. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Friday, January 14th and I hope everyone is doing well. If you're a new subscriber, I'd like to say welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'd like to say welcome back. And if this is the first time you're ever checking out my channel, I want to thank you and let you know that this channel is about knitting and crochet and yarn and all things to do with those three things. So last time I podcasted was last Thursday. And as you all know, I was feeling under the weather. I was on the mend, but I was still, you know, feeling not so great. Well, I'm feeling even better this week. I have a little bit of stuffiness left and a little bit of a cough. So if I do cough, it, I apologize. I have my tea here to help with that. I don't think it'll be like last week. I severely, well for me, I very severely edited the video last week to kind of, um, you know, cut out a lot of the coughing. So if it was a bit choppy and annoying, I'm sorry, but I want to thank you all for watching and thank you all for um, returning those that have returned. Um, you know, even though I was gone, you know, for a couple months before that, um, thank you for coming back and commenting and watching my video. It means very, it means a lot to me, very, very much. It, sh it really, really does. So thank you again. So this, today, this week, I have some finished objects to share with you. I have two, and I have four works in progress. So let's get on with it. So the first finished object I want to show you was a works in progress last week. It was a knitted hat, and here it is finished. I'm not even going to bother putting it on the mannequin head because all of those do not... I don't have very good ones. I don't show the hat off very well. So this is a knit hat and I was on the decreases last week and I got it done. It is lovely. I really, really like it. And I think it's going to go to one of my daughters. So here it is. And the name of this pattern, this is the Spruski hat. Yes, the Spruski hat by Chit Chat Knits. There it is. And this is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. And the yarn that I used for this is by Toad Hollow. Here is the label of their yarn, Toad Hollow. It This is on their DK Toad base. It's 100 grams, 100% superwash merino, 231 yards, and the color way name is Mountain Day. And this is what I have left of the yarn. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what I have left. This is gorgeous yarn. I love this. I love it. So that's what I have left. And here is the hat. And I soaked it. I didn't really block it. I soaked it and laid it flat. But I guess because it's super wash. It grew. It was not a slouchy, and now it is a bit of a slouchy, but my daughter will like that. So there is that hat. Um, and the needles I used were four millimeter on a 16 inch. I didn't use my chowgus, I used my high high highs. But when I close the top of the hat, um, I've been using lately, when I've been doing hats, knit hats, and closing the top of the hat instead of doing DPNs or magic loop, I've been using two circulars. Um, and I, I kind of really like doing that. I like it a lot. So this was the other circular that I used. So four millimeter on a 16 inch circular needle. And that is my first finished object. And now it can go to my daughter. Okay. So my second finished object was also a works in progress last week, and I have it finished. And here it is. This is, oh, let me see here for a second. I do not have the book. Oh, well, that's okay. But here it is. This is Callie the Cat. Um, Halloween Callie the Cat that I'm supposed to be I was supposed to have done for Halloween. Obviously, I didn't, but I got it done now. 
And this is in a book. I can't remember. I can't remember. I showed it last week and I will link it down below the book that it came out of. Um, yeah, I can't remember the name of it and it's in my bedroom. So, but here it is, here it's finished. And I really love how she came out. Oh, she's cute. So I got that done for next Halloween. So, and I can now start thinking of more amigurumis to make, but here she is. Yes, so it's called Callie. I know it's called in the book, the pattern is called Callie the Cat. So here she is. And I did, I knit or crocheted this with a, I'm pretty sure, a four millimeter crochet hook. I'm pretty sure. And I used this yarn, these two yarns. These two yarns right here. This is called Olympus double knitting they're both called that um this is what i have left obviously i didn't use much of the orange um the orange the the shade is 867 and the purple the shade is 925 so it is it is dk and 100 percent acrylic and let me see does it say how much <coughs> Let's see. I don't a hundred grams. They're each a hundred grams. So there she is. I'm very happy with her. And she's done. Ready for next Halloween. So those are my two finished objects. So let me grab or get a sip of tea and we'll move on to works in progress. Okay, so my first works in progress is crochet. And this, I'm really, really very close to being done with this. And this is the, um, let's see, papers everywhere. This is the Portobello Road Shawl. Here it is, the Portobello Road Shawl. And I can't, I can't remember if this, I can't remember if it's free or paid for, but like I said, it will be listed below. My granddaughter's in the living room watching her today, so I have the door open. So you'll probably hear a lot of noise from her. You might, you may not, but she's in the living room. That's what that is. So there we go. And I hear you. So here is the shawl. It is getting very long. Let me get the yarn out so I can properly show you because it's still attached. And okay. <coughs> so here we go. So this is where it started. So here we go. And the change in the colors is, uh, I love. All right. So there we go. So this is it. It is very long. So um, where this butterfly is, that's where I stopped at last week. And so I've done all of this. So I'm on the very last repeat. And then I will do the border on each end of the shawl. Uh, get in a bit closer to show you all the stitches I love it I really love it so here it is and <clears throat> and this and the, what neat hook am I using so I'm oh whoops I know I'll just leave it just leave it is it crooked Okay, so I am using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So there's that. And I'm using this yarn. This is the yarn it calls for. It's a Shepshi's Whirl. Shepshi's Whirl, I don't know. And it's getting, I'm getting there. 
and it's getting because I'm pulling from the center I don't know why I did that now it's getting it's collapsing on itself and it's creating a bit of a mess <laughs> <coughs> so this is blackberry mint chip it is 225 grams for 1,000 meters, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. And it doesn't say on here, but I'm pretty sure that's a one. I'm pretty sure. So, and it's living in this bag. This is the Twisted, Stitch, Twisted Fiber Studio bag, which I don't know if they sell bags anymore, but it's living in that bag. So I'm very, very close to being done. Um, well, uh, this is the last repeat I'm doing. Any rate, although I think I might have enough yarn to do another repeat, but I'm not going to because I love it. But I am, I'm done with it. I've been working on it a long time, so I want to move on. So there is that works in progress. She's singing. Zaya, do you want to come say hi? I'm doing a video. Oh, sorry. All right. My second works in progress is in my tea dottles bag, one of my tea dottles bags. And it is my knit socks. So I showed this last week and here's the sock. So this is where I stopped last week. So I've done all of that. And I am on, I am starting to decrease for the toe. So there's all of that. I'm going to do an afterthought heel. That's where I'm going to put my heel right there. And for this, for socks, this is pretty much what I always do. I these are these are my Addy Rockets. They are a 2.25 millimeter um, needle on 32 inch cord, and I do magic loop. I do 64 stitches. I cast on 64 stitches. I knit them cuff down. I do two by two rib for about 15 rows and then do kind of, a, um, I don't know how many rows this is, uh, but I do somewhat of a short, um, a short leg or short around the ankle. Um, there you go. I don't know. I have to count to see how many I do. I kind of go by when I'm, I've been kind of just going by stripes. I do measure from this to this, and I usually this ends up, this is the foot, this is usually about 60, 65 rows. And this is usually at least 25 rows for the ankle or the, the leg. But here it is, and then, <coughs> I'll tell you about that in a sec. So the yarn that I'm using, here is the yarn. And this is String Theory Colorworks Inertia. And the colorway is Fourier Transform. I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know if they do this yarn anymore. Um, I think they do this colorway. I got this at Eat Sleep Knit, which is lucky me. That is um, my my LYS. It's only about 20 minutes for me. Um, so I got this quite a long time ago, and they still have this colorway, but they don't have the inertia. They have it in another, I guess, base. So this is, let's see, 400 yards, 100 grams. Um, let's see, it's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. Yep, that's it. And this is how it looks, it's caked up. And for the, um, for the heel, I'm going to use this color. And this is Knit Picks Stroll Jackrabbit Heather. And that's what I'm going to do the heel in. I was thinking about, I went back and forth. I was thinking about doing the um, toe in that color, but 
Um, I want these to match, and so I want the second sock to start with this color. And before I started decreasing, I had ended on this color. So when I started my decreases with this, and then when I went to the other sock, I'd have to cut out like a whole section to get back to this. I'd have to cut out. So I ended on that. And in order to get back to this, I'd had to cut out all of that. And that was just, I don't mind cutting a little bit, but that's just too much. That was too much. So I just kept it. And I'll just do the heel in that color. And I think it'll go fine. So that is that works in progress. Last week when I podcasted, I didn't realize how much talking would trigger um, my cough <laughs> because I've kind of been, you know, um, you know, isolated. I'm still around my husband in that, but, um, you know, I kind of stayed away from people. So I guess I wasn't talking much. <laughs> so I didn't really realize that talking would just, oh. Okay, so the next works in progress, and this is in my Cottontail Farms bag. I love this bag. I think this is the, that was one of the last bags I got from her. Well, no, because I, I don't think it's one of the last. It may not be the last. All right, so this is my Stephen West shawl. It is the, um, the Cable Trellis Shawl, and this is for the Hyber Knit Along 2021. This is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. Here it is. Here it is, beautiful. How he comes up with this stuff, oh, I don't know. Anyway, so let me show you my progress. There's two balls of yarn stuck to this, so let me try and get everything out that I need to show you. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So where the stitch marker is is where I last was. And I've done everything up. So here it is, what are you seeing? So that's where I stopped at the owl last week. And so I've done all that. So now the cables are starting to crisscross. So, and it's already got like almost 300 stitches. 300 stitches on the needles. So I'm gonna have to get longer needles. I think I'll just put an extension. Yep, because these are my. No, they're not. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna have to switch needles and probably get put an extension on my interchangeable needles on the wire because I'm not even close to even being halfway. And it's already almost filling up the needles. So here it is. I really am loving it. I love working on this. It's easy. It's very easy. The trickiest part. Whoop. The trickiest part was cast was was casting on. But he has a video to show you how to do that. He has a video to show you the tougher stitches, like how to do the cables, and it's pretty awesome. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I love it. So the yarn I'm using, I'm using these two balls of yarn right here. This one is from Apothecary Fabrications, 100% fine merino wool on the delightful DK base. It's a DK. And 115 grams for 250 yards. And she doesn't put colorways on her yarn labels. Which I'm pretty sure that it's on the website. If they even do this yarn anymore. Because this is old. So there. It's a bit of fluff. It's beautiful. It's so soft. I love <coughs> Apothecary. I love their DK. I love the DK base they use. Uh, also, that Toad Hollow DK, 
I really love that too. So there's that. And then this here is Lang Yarns Frida Merino Extra Fine Superwash, 100 grams uh, for 220 meters. Here's this. Um, I don't think there's a colorway on this one. It's 100% Merino Extra Fine Virgin Wool um, color. 1078 um there and i don't know why i bought when i bought this i was like oh this is a dk i don't really see where it says if it's a dk on here but it's going with this yarn fine maybe i just looked at it and thought it looked like a dk i don't know oh and i got it on my stash i i, I was like oh yeah that's a dk i don't know but these are the two yarns that I'm using, and I'm loving it. Oh, I love it. And let's see, um, the needles. Let me see if, oh no, I've got the thing right here. These are 4.5 millimeter, and I have it on a 40 inch cord already. And yeah, these are my Addy Rockets I'm using, and it's already, and I don't have anything bigger. I don't have any cords bigger. Like, I, I know I don't have any interchangeable cords that are bigger than 40 inches. I might have some fixed, but I don't, they're, I, I doubt I have them on 4.5. Whoops. Hang on, I just dropped the needle stopper. So I'm gonna have to switch to my interchangeables and use the little, um, attachment thing that you can so you can attach two cords to make them bigger i think that's what i'm gonna have to do eventually so there is that works in progress <coughs> and my last works in progress is crochet and they are granny squares i did some more granny squares so i showed this last week um but just making a bunch of granny squares and i'm using the granny square tutorial I'm using is from The Secret Yarnery. I believe her name is Krista. That's the, 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 um, cause I didn't know how to do a granny square. So, and that's the tutorial that I used. So I showed you, um, a bunch last week that I did and I will show you some more. So, um, the yarn that I'm using, I'll show you that first. I'm using this yarn in all different shades. It's the Yarn Be Dazzling. This is Hobby Lobby, and I got a lot of it on their clearance, $1.49. And um, it is 98% acrylic, 2% metallic polyester, 100 grams, 249 yards. It's a four medium. And so the, what I showed you last week was in this colorway pool. And then I did a different colorway just to see how they would come out they come out also different um, let me see and the colorway i used was windstorm and i will show you i got one two three i got six out of a uh, hundred gram skein so here it is it's all just all different so here's this one this is all from the same skein of yarn and there's this one. I really, really love this colorway. And can you see the, the sparkles? So this one, and then this one. And this one. And this. And this so all that came from one skein of yarn so when I bought a bunch of it, I thought well you know what am I what can I make with it you know it just changes so much and each skein is so different they're all different like this is the pool right and then this is pool you know they're wound differently so you don't know what you're gonna get and I don't know you know I like to match things I like to color control and I thought that would just be too much and I thought well this is kind of a 
you know, just make granny squares. I don't have to change colors because it does it for you. And and then I guess eventually <coughs> I will um put them together and make some granny square blankets, which I've never done. I made one big continuous granny square. But yeah, so I got six out of one skein. And I can't remember how many I got the last time, but I last time I used one skein like one and a half skeins and of the pool colorway and I just wanted to try this so and then now I'm doing um did I bring it in here I don't think I have it in here I'm using I may have left it in the other room I think I must have left it in the other room but I'm doing oh no it's right in, it is right in front of my face so so the next colorway I'm doing is called um, Blush Jade. What a dingling. And here it is. Oh, I like this one. Look at how different. You know, the more you go, the more it changes. And, and let's see, I have, a, I have one started. And this is it so far. So hopefully, I don't know how many shades I have, how many different colorways I have. I don't know. At least four. So I'm hoping that um, I don't like, you know, once I get through this, you know, and I get through another colorway that I'm like bored because they're all, it's not into nothing new anymore. I hope that doesn't happen. So there, that is, and oh, the crochet hook I'm using is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. As you can see, I like the tulips very much, crochet hooks a lot. And this is in another tea dottles bag, a bigger bag. Hasn't she, she just has the coolest fabric. So that is all my works in progress. So if you stuck around this long, I want to thank you. Um, I want to thank you very much. And I just, I really, really want to say thanks to all the people that have been, that follow my channel, that watch the videos to the end, um, that, you know, comment all the time. Um, I'm not always good at responding quickly or, um, even I have a few comments to respond to for my last video that I haven't responded to, um, you know, like everybody else, I get busy. I have, you know, a full, I work from home. I watch my grandkids. Um, I have a husband to look after, a house. I get busy. I'm sure you all understand. And yeah, so sometimes it just, um, I don't make time for it. And I, one of my New Year's resolutions, I'm just going to say it, is to just really make time for it. We'll see, hopefully. But as an appreciation, if you've watched this long, as an appreciation, I want to do a giveaway for all you people that watch my videos. I love you so much. I thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you watch. So this is like a secret giveaway. Um, as you probably have noticed, I've not put giveaway in the title. And um, please, when you leave a comment, please don't mention the giveaway. Um, I'm going to give you the secret word to put in in a minute. That's what I want you to do. And because that way, you know, some people want to comment, but they don't necessarily want the yarn. Because I know this happens to me because I don't, I have so much yarn. I have so much yarn that I don't always like to um, go, um, go, go into giveaways because, uh, unless it's like a challenge, like Crochet Creations by Christy, she does challenges and then you might, you know, you might win. Um, a skein of yarn and I like that M more to do the challenge but any rate so um, I know that like a lot of times I won't comment because even though I want to because I don't really want to be entered into the giveaway I want to give other people a chance to win so I'm going to give you a secret word if you want to be entered into the giveaway and um, and if you don't want to be entered in the giveaway but you want to leave a comment that's fine and um and then also i just want to say this isn't sponsored by anybody it's just me i bought this yarn myself 
and it's open internationally so wherever you live i will if you win i'll send it to you but just understand that i paid for the yarn i paid for the shipping so if there are any costs incurred after that such as duties or custom fees or whatever they whatever it's called that that's your responsibility and i would like and please be 18 years or older and yeah so let me go ahead and show you what i have to offer you guys here we go. So I have six, no, one, two, three, five hanks of yarn from Hobium. And here they are. I showed this yarn haul last year. And ever since I saw it, I said, I want to do this for a giveaway. So here it is. So here is the first one. This is the first one. This is Gazelle Happy Feet. 75% superwash merino, 25% polyamide for 100 grams, 360 yards. So there's this, this one. And Hobium, there's no color rays on here. So that's the first one. This is the second one. This is another Happy Feet. And, you know, I got all this yarn on a really good sale. It was probably like 40% off sale. So, and then of course, Hobium yarns are not really that expensive at any rate. So this is the same as the other one. Look at how it will, if you choose to do socks, knit socks, that's how it'll stripe up. So there's this one. I just don't want you to think these aren't like, you know, $30 skeins of yarn. They're not even close. So there's that one. And then there's this one. This is Gazelle Unicorn Hand Painted. This is 100% Superwash Merino Wool. 100 grams, 215 yards. So I'm guessing like this, I would say is fingering weight or really, yeah, probably fingering weight or sport weight. And this one is like, um, DK or worsted, probably, yeah. So there's that one. And then there's this one, which is also the Gazelle Unicorn, same as the other. Look at the hat. And then the last one is this Gazelle Unicorn. Same specs as the other two. So here's the giveaway. For all you lovely people that I love so much, and my thanks to you for being loyal subscribers and watching my videos and commenting and giving like, giving thumbs up and all of that. Even if there's some people out there that just give thumbs up that don't comment, you know, maybe, you know, you say comment now. I don't always comment. Don't I go, I do give thumbs up, but sometimes I don't comment because I don't know what to say. So here's all of the, here it is. So the secret word that, or the secret word, well, the word I would like to you to use if you want to win this giveaway is Hobium. And that's H-O-B-I-U-M, Hobium. I don't care what you say. Uh, it's, oh, well, it's gotta be nice comment. <laughs> not, don't leave anything not nice. Um, a nice comment um, with the word Hobium in it. You can just say, I love Hobium. I never heard of Hobium. Just say Hobium, whatever you want to say, just so I know that you'd like to be entered into the giveaway. And make sure <coughs> in the comments that you don't mention the giveaway because I'd like it to just be for, you know, a secret giveaway. So, you know, I do plan on throughout the rest of the year doing other giveaways where it'll be announced and, you know, available to a wider audience, I guess you could say. But I'd like this just to be for people that watch and, um, you know, faithful subscribers and watchers. So that's it. So this will go a week until it's going to be quick. Um, the other giveaways I've done, I've done for two weeks, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave this open for a week. So next Friday, whatever that date is, so that would that be the, so if today's the 14th, would that be the 21st? That is when I will pick a winner. I'm excited. So good luck to you all. Thank you so much. And 
let's see. So I hope you all have a great weekend. We're supposed to be getting snow. I really, who knows? We'll either get a foot of snow or it'll just rain. It'll be one or the other. Who knows? So yes, that'll be our weekend. So guys, that's it. I will see you soon. And thank you all again. And I hope you have a great weekend. So until next Friday, well, maybe there'll be a, a give. No, they, there'll be a yarn haul in between because I have a lot of yarn to show y'all. A lot. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I won't. But at any rate, have a great weekend. Thank you all again and goodbye for now.